Louisiana Beer Reviews Yeever can version. Well, this was sent to me by Douglas. Thank you, Douglas. I had the bottle version once, which I purchased in St. Petersburg, Florida at ABC Fine Wine and Spirits on United States Highway 92 northbound or westbound. Okay, uh, 4th Street. This is from Fritzsiches Brew House. Fritzsiches Brew House in Germany. Crisp bitterness, hoppy flavor, and a dry finish. I love the can, uh, the bottle version, so I'm sure the can is going to be great. Somebody asked me today on alcohol eggs, what's the difference between a can and the bottle with a cer certain brand of beer? I said the vessel. There's no difference. Uh, estimated to be best by August 18th, 2022. So that means, um, well, let's see. It says 1805, 2021. That means it was canned on May 18th, 2021. So they're giving it more than a year shelf life. It's pushing it, pushing it. 4.9% alcohol imported by Raven Import Company, Brooklyn, New York. Um, water, barley, they underline barley, water, barley malt hops. Brewed in strict accordance with the quote unquote German purity law, as it says on the can. All right, 500 milliliters. Thank you, Douglas. I've never seen Yeever in Louisiana. I would say Jeever, you know, I speak English, but I think they pronounce it Yeever. Okay. Like if I see the name Carl Jung, I'm going to pronounce it Jung, J U N G. But they pronounce it Jung. In English, his name would be Carl Young, Y-O-U-N-G. Very foggy morning. A little chill in the air. Good weather for getting sick with whatever variant you happen to run across. All right, um, thick, <laughs> thick white head and a, well, a mostly clear appearance, but there is a major amount of sediment in this beer. It looks like, what does that look like? Um, little specks of white particles. Not so small and some small, like dust particles. So there is a lot of sediment in here. I don't think I've ever written or done a written review on, on tap, but I have done it on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer, and I loved it. So there's a lot of video reviews for this product. Northwest Germany, I think near the coast, North Sea. Ah, the great German beers. Crackery malt. Going to have that grassy, noble hot bitterness. Um, Pilsner. So I want to make sure, yeah, so Pilsner is going to have a good, good amount of bitterness. IBUs probably be around 30. Don't know for sure. I'm going to check it up, check it out on the website. Another winner. Another classic. It's been three years since I've had it. Dry finish, easy going, refreshing. What's the downside? What's the negatives? What are the negatives? Well, the negatives, I can't get it in Louisiana. Other than that, this is like a perfect beer. It's no Pilsner Urquell, but that one is like, it's above perfect. It's something about Pilsner Urquell from the Czech Republic that's like, can't even grasp. And that's a low ABV, 4.4. But this one is great. 4.9, beautiful ABV. I think Bitburger is 4.9. There are some American companies that make Pilsners. They don't typically do so well, comparative to this. But uh, yeah, it's it. But they some of them are okay. Some of them are a, a, a shame. Like 
some company, there's a company in America selling a fine Pilsner beer. Well, listen, ain't no Pilsner, especially with its corn syrup. But yeah, this is a solid A, 95 out of 100. 9.5 out of 10, a great beer, and I'm going to end this review by saying laissez les bon temps relais. Y'all go to Germany and tour the Yiver Brewhouse, Brewhouse, Brewhouse.